I don't think that the government can shut down Bitcoin ever because of what we call First Amendment rights issues. I believe that the U.S. Supreme Court has already opined, right, that software is protected free speech. Your ability to store ones and zeros, that's all uh, uh, cryptocurrency is. It's a, ser- a stream of ones and zeros, just like storing a music file or a word file. That is protected free speech in the United States. So, so a government ordering a software company to not allow people to store ones and zeros in the cloud, that would be a big problem for Dropbox. It would be a big problem for Google and their cloud services, uh, Apple's cloud services, not to mention cryptocurrency wallets. I don't see it happening. Now, obviously, a lot of government agencies around the world, not picking on the US government, don't like privacy coins, right? But in the early days, they didn't like SSL, which is the encryption technology that the early internet used before it moved to TLS. They didn't like that technology. Why? Because they couldn't spy on it. Now, a lot of us believed that the NSA could crack SSL if we used a short version of the keys. So we went to much longer versions of the keys that we knew that they couldn't crack. And they didn't like that either. But we did because we were perfectly within our free speech rights to do so. There's some exceptions to that. Um, in their infinite wisdom, the government considers certain encryption technologies to be uh, weapons and has put uh, historically export restrictions on encryption as a weapons grade technology. Uh, I, I believe most of those restrictions no longer exist. And partially because so many com- uh, companies outside the U.S. went and did it for us to get around those export restrictions. And then the government realized they were fighting a losing battle. Again, competition wins.